Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about Cardi B. Cardi B talks about her butt injections. She had most of it removed. Cardi wants to warn anybody trying to get a BBL because it's very dangerous. Cardi got her body at the age of 20. Let's take a look at this video. Young girls do not, not young girls, because it's young and older, do not, whatever you do, don't get ass shots. Don't get ass shots, bro. I'm really against them. I'm all the way, I all the way support you if you want to do alterations to your body, if you love your body, whatever the fuck, I'm all the way with it. But do not get ass shots. I would never fucking recommend them. Um, luckily, my ass shots um, that I did when I was 20 years old, they never turned purple. They never got this color. They never did nothing stupid to me. Like, they, I never felt pain because a lot of bitches be feeling pain and shit. I never felt that. However, like, after I gave birth to my son and I gained all that weight and my ass just looked extremely, extremely big, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I got to take this shit out. I got to fix my shit up. I got to fix it. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, a little, little son, son. A little chum, chum, chum. So, yeah. Somebody said, Cardi up here preaching this a podcast. Nah, because niggas got to hear it because I was like, people need to understand, right? Like, people need to understand that, like, a lot of people, they just don't come from the world that I come from. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of you, some of you motherfuckers, y'all live in the motherfucking country. Some of y'all are some college girls. Some of y'all just innocent people. I don't know, but like my world, like Maserati, like you know what it is. Like you from New York, right? Like when I was a dancer and everything, like I had the titties, I had the bomb ass tattoos, I had a six packs, I could do a fucking whole split, everything, but not split, but I, I could do crazy pole tricks, all that shit. But I was missing some ass. And you know, um when I was 20 years old and shit, I, I auditioned to a, a couple of videos and shit, and I always felt like like, they will pick more of the big booty girls. And it's just like, you know, that is a little, it's a lot of peer pressure to like do certain shit. And then on top of that, like, it's like when you come, it really also depends on your nationalities. Like, when you come from nationalities that like they praise thick girls, that they praise ass, they praise thighs, they praise all of that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like it's not it's it's hard to just be like, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna walk around my flat ass. No. Some of y'all happy with it, that's great, but that just wasn't me when I was young. So I did what I did. Fuck it. Suck my dick. The fuck? My ass my ass took me a long way, bitch. Mm-hmm. Made me a lot of money. Made me a whole lot of motherfucking money. <laughs> Or is that he in the studio, motherfucker? Why? Why are you asking where my man is at? You want to suck his dick? Somebody said fat transfer. Now, let me tell you something. And when it comes to BBLs, I, first of all, I, I'm going to let y'all know this one thing right here, right? I feel like all the celebrities and a lot of bad bitches always come to me for surgery advice. <laughs> y'all talk a lot of shit, but a lot of, a lot of them be in my DMs. And I love it because I'm 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 a type of person that like if you ask me for help, if you ask me for help, um, and I fuck with you, I'm gonna help you. Just like one one no lie, I'm not even gonna front. Like I needed like 
when I I got my nose done. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I got my nose done, bitch, because I had a fucking big ass nose, bitch. My I had my daddy nose. That shit had to fucking go. Um, but anyways, um, somebody from the industry helped me with it. <laughs> so when somebody asked me for help, I wouldn't mind helping them. However, like I just don't know every single surgeon in the world, so I recommend them to surgeon made. That's my friend. But whole point is that it's like when it comes to BBLs, if y'all want advice from me, I'll tell y'all this, right? Before you get your BBL done, juice for two months. And I'm not talking about like juice, like just do that. Like you literally have to make sure your blood levels are right. If a doctor say your blood levels is too low or you have diabetes or whatever the fuck, don't do it, bitch. You're going to have to live with your flat or your fat ass. It don't matter, bitch. Like, don't ever risk it. You know what I'm saying? I never, don't ever risk it. But I always recommend for y'all to drink beet juice, carrot juice, coconut water before you do surgery. You have to be extremely fucking healthy. Like, bitch, if your heart is beating a little bit too fast or too slow, bitch, you better not get on that fucking table. That's one. Second, do your research because a lot of these doctors be editing their pictures. I, I, when somebody asks me, because a, the doctor that's good for me is not, it might not be good for you because we have different body shapes. So I always recommend them to surgeon made. Make sure you get a surgeon consultant. Because, baby, when you go to, these the surgeons could finesse you, especially if, you, if you're going to motherfucking DR or Columbia, bitch. Oh, my God. You fencing for yourself. So, I recommend to go to a surgeon consultant and go to the right surgeon because after you get surgery, it's just it's just a lot of maintenance. Like, a lot like you might get fibrosis that shit look fucking crazy on your fucking stomach you might not like your results you start getting depressed a little bit it's a lot like bitch it's a fucking lot it's it's uh, a lot of work and i'm and i'm giving y'all advice i'm giving y'all advice because like as as much as people be acting like oh no this and that there's a lot of girls that are like they, they will never be content with what they have. And it's like, ain't nothing wrong with it. If you want to fix it, if you want to tweak something, bitch, what's fucking wrong with that? The fuck? The fuck? Who? Huh? Carrie. Carrie. Sometimes I be wanting to be more open. Sometimes I be wanting to be more open because like I have experience, I have so much experience and I feel like everybody around me got their body done and everybody had their ups and their downs. But y'all judge people too much. Y'all judge people too much to the point that it's like, you don't even want to say nothing. You don't even want to help nobody because it's just like, y'all be so ready to judge and talk shit. Well, there you have it. We all have things we want to change. But how far are you willing to go? It's most definitely a risk. It may turn out right. It may not. A lot of celebs are getting it removed. I know K. Michelle was the first celeb to talk about it. Kim Kardashian also got hers removed. So be careful, you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.